Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to paint a front loader. This is the third painting in the set. If you like it, please also check out the other two videos and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on next week's video. To keep it simple, I will limit my color palette to four colors. The cadmium orange will become really vibrant by adding lemon yellow. The color will become neon and really glow. Let's start with a line drawing. Always start with looking at some pictures of real construction machines. The painting will be a simplified version of the actual vehicle. For the very first painting, I used a light wash of grey with some green added to it for the windows. And I continue to use this color throughout the whole set. Using the same color for all the windows will make the set look complete and very put together. The windows will be painted using the wet and wet method. I will first wet in the page and then I add the watercolor to it and let the watercolor disperse. The watercolor does need some help moving in the direction where I want it to go. I'm also leaving a small gap between the pencil line and the water that I put down first to make sure that it's easier for me to create clean edges. Once I colored in the entire area, I will drop in some more watercolor and then I will be dropping in some water to create this really cool patterns. The water will push the pigment aside and create these beautiful blooms. Let's use the same method to color in the second window. And then we're moving on to the tires. If you're afraid to touch the wet paint, just let it dry for a few minutes and then continue with the tires. This paper is not taped down to the table because it will not bulge as much. I'm not working with a lot of water here, so it will be fine and it's making it a lot easier for me to paint since I can just turn it. A lot of times it is easier if you just turn your page in order to paint straight lines. Let's continue with the bucket. I'm ignoring the little line in the front at first because I will color that in later and it will still be visible once this paint dried. I usually let my painting dry for a few minutes in between sections because I do not want the paint to bleed uncontrollably from one area to another. I'm also really bad with not touching the wet paint. That happens quite a lot to me. Sometimes it's better to be safe than sorry. So I'm going to color in this whole drawing piece by piece and always wait for a section to dry before I paint in a section that touches the wet paint or previously wet paint. When one of the watercolors bleeds into the other watercolor, it can look beautiful, for example in loose florals, but it's not what I'm going for with this painting. I first paint in all the grey areas because I find it easier to assess how vibrant the orange color needs to be once those darker colors are already on the page. Some of these areas will be offset later on once the paint is completely dry because I will be adding a second layer to some of these areas. This will darken the watercolor by a lot. Sometimes a line just didn't come out as straight as you expected. I'm using a damp brush to loosen some of the pigment and then I'm simply dabbing a paper towel on it to soak it up. When you want to paint in larger areas or areas like this, 
It's easiest if you paint it section by section. I first wetten the entire area and then I'm applying some watercolor to one section. I make sure that the watercolor is exactly where I want it to be and that that area is finished. And then I will move on to the next area. I might have to reapply some water to the next area before I can apply the watercolor. The water dries sometimes really fast, depending on the temperature in your house or the humidity. I pre-mixed enough of the orange color to finish the painting. This is important because it allows you to work faster and you will also have an even color throughout the whole painting. In order to make the orange glow, just add some lemon yellow. It will brighten the whole color. And don't forget to test your color on a spare sheet of paper first. You can always soak up little mistakes with a paper towel. But please resist the urge to mess around with it right now. If there actually is a paint spill, you can easily clean it up later on, but the whole painting needs to be completely dry for that. You are only going to make it worse if you try to fix it now. You can easily fix it with the same method that I showed you earlier to clean up the lines. You use a damp brush to loosen some of the pigment and then you soak it up with a paper towel. Some of the watercolors will stain the page, but for the most part you will be fine. And I know that the colors I'm using are not really staining the page, or not a lot. I'm using the wet in wet method to paint in the rest of the orange parts as well. Keep in mind that your background is white, so areas that only have a light wash of paint will be even brighter and shine even more. If you use a larger color difference within the orange and if you drop in some water, it just makes the whole painting look more interesting because there are so many variations in color in it. Now I will leave you to enjoy watching some of the painting process. Feel free to use the timestamps in the video if you want to skip straight to the detail work. In order to paint in the siren, I'm using a light wash of lemon yellow and then I'm dropping in some of the orange mix. The uneven color and the yellow will make the siren really shine.
The reason why I really wanted to use this picture for the painting is because of this gap in the middle of the construction vehicle. It just looks funny and it looks funny in painting as well. Having so many small parts makes the whole painting look more interesting and so much more detailed. At this point I'm just coloring in whatever small details I have left and later on I might add a second layer to some of those areas. A second layer makes the painting look more interesting because some of the areas will just look darker. It makes the whole painting more vibrant because there is a larger difference in color between the black and the orange and the yellow. At the same time I'm not overwhelming the eye by introducing new colors. And now we've finished a whole painting. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought of it in the comments below, like my video, subscribe to my channel and please also watch my video that's coming up next week.